I'm out of breath. <laughs> I was just looking on the ground for my thing that attaches to my tripod. I thought I lost it. I'm hot and sweaty now. Perfect way to start a video. Hello. So this video is going to be coming out a little later than I intended. Hot tip, don't spill water on your 11 year old laptop. I know, super useful. So my laptop died and I didn't have a laptop for like a week and a half, but I got a lot done. I read a book. I've been in like an eight month reading slump and I read this really cute book, highly recommend. And I also did a lot of crocheting. So currently I have a bigger project in the works and I wanted to kind of have a more laid back video. It didn't super end up, well, it's kind of laid back. I a little bit, it's fine. <laughs> so what I did was I did three smaller projects. First up, last September, like late September, early October, I knitted a Sontag shawl, Sontag shawl. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but it's basically a triangular shawl that has a little bit more shape to it. It's three triangles. So two at the front, one at the back, but they're all connected. Sontag shawl is a Victorian women's shawl uh, that I just thought looked really unique. And I thought it would look really cool with modern outfits. And I did that without a pattern because of course I did. <laughs> what ended up happening was I made it out of leftover yarn from an old project which was white and neutrals aren't my favorite color to make things with but I wanted to use this leftover yarn and it just ended up looking a little blase to me a little bland so what I think I'm going to do is add a crochet lace trim to the edge I've never done crochet lace trim before I thought it would add a little pizzazz to the piece I'm also not going to be doing it with like that's a tiny tiny yarn I'm going to be doing it with the yarn that made the piece it's a four weight I believe I used a YouTube video to learn how to make this lace. I changed it a lot just because of the piece I was using and the weight of the yarn, but I did use it as a starting point and it was very helpful. The second project is a granny square beanie for my mother because her birthday is coming up and I made her a granny square vest for Christmas because she liked the one that I had made earlier in that year. So I made her one and she really loved it. So I thought not matching, I'm not gonna make her a matching granny square beanie, but she loves beanies. She wears them all the time during the winter. Uh, just a fun little project to do for her birthday. Third project is the one that I'm possibly most excited about and it is crocheted strawberry earrings. My mom and I actually own a, an Etsy jewelry store, but she's more of the designer. I've designed a couple of pieces, but she designs most of them and I'm kind of the business and social media side. So I'm very excited to try my hand at designing, especially with something that I love to do so much, which is crochet. I looked up a couple of tutorials. Those will also be in the description. I'm going to change them up a little bit. Why do I keep going between future and past tense? Sorry, this is, everything's already happened. I needed to change the patterns because both of them were a little too big. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna shrink it down and I tried my best. These earrings were kind of a dip in the pool, dipping my toes in the pool, how do you say that? For the future, because I would love to do an entire video dedicated to crochet earrings. Okay, all three of these projects definitely didn't go as planned but I had a good time. So uh, let me show you what I did. Hey, you know what's funny? I did this not so long ago, but I don't even remember what I was going to say during this section. <laughs> I barely remember this project at this point and it only happened about two weeks ago. I do remember running into a problem where I was on my last row and I was running out of yarn, which you will see in the next clip. Okay, I have this much more of the row to finish. <laughs> and I have this much more yarn. I don't think it's gonna make it. But you know what, it's at the end, it's not super noticeable. Wherever we get to, we get to, and I'm gonna have to be happy with that. No. <laughs> oh well, at least at the very end. I don't think it's gonna be too, too noticeable. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Which is frustrating when you've worked a good amount of time on something and I basically feel like I feel no different from before I did all this work. So 
so that's a little frustrating. It also could be that I'm on the first day of my period and I'm feeling very indecisive. There's some part of me that likes it, like it's winter right now and I feel like this trim kind of looks like snowflakes. A part of me that's like, this is kind of like kitschy and eclectic. But then there's a part of me that's like, it looks like I stole this from my great, 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 great grandmother. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Maybe if I find the right outfit to go with it, I'll like it. I'm literally just putting it over the outfit I have on. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is very underwhelming, but it's cool. Like, that's the thing. I love the trim. Don't get me wrong. The trim is very cool. I just don't know if I like how I used it. Okay, let's move on to the beanie. <laughs> yeah. So moving on to the granny square hat. These are the colors I think I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this kind of green, which I also bought for the strawberries that I'm making. And then I have this pink and then some leftover like lavender gray purple from my last project. And then the last one is this leftover like orange and taupe. Uh, from yet another project. <laughs> and then also some white to finish it off. None of these are the same size. I believe these are threes and these are twos. And I think this might be a three as well. So I might have to figure out how to work with that, but I do like the colors. The colors are cool. So you can literally see the reflection of my computer off my face. So you will know that I made this like the day before my computer broke. <laughs> I told you the timeline of this video was going to be all over the place, but I decided to do every granny square with a different combination of all of these colors, making sure that the final row was always white so they would look more seamless when they were stitched together. I should have made all of these about one row smaller because well, you'll see, but by the end, I had five granny squares and one granny pentagon, I guess you could say. So I kind of made a beret. You know, I knew that I was doing something wrong when I needed this band to be smaller than the hat, but I kind of <laughs> thought it would all magically work out. It didn't. Well, you know, uh, my mom isn't really a beret person. I even kind of asked her, I was like, do you, what do you think if this was a beret? And she was like, oh yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. And you know that that's mom speak for, I love you, but this is just gonna sit at the back of my closet. So <laughs> I'm going to keep this and I'm going to make my mom a new one that is actually a beanie. I'm not really a beret person either, but the reason for that is usually that the band is so tiny, it doesn't stay on my head. My head shape must be weird for berets. And this one, it stays on. I mean, it gives me a little bit of old vintage golfing hat vibes, but you know, that's not really a bad thing. I think if I were to like style this in a way that I liked, again, I feel like I'm saying the same thing again, that maybe if I style this in a way that I like, I'll fall in love with it. I like it. I'll say that. I, I like this piece. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm kind of zero for two at this point, but uh, spoilers, I'm already done with all three of these projects. So the strawberries, uh, they were tough for a while, but I get there. So <laughs> let's go on to that project. It's drops time. It's drops time. It's drops time. It's time to try the strawberry earrings. I have to sneeze. No, I don't. This first time might not be perfect. Let's try it. So the first thing they said, from what I can remember, was either make a magic ring or like start with four chain stitches or chain four. I'm very bad at the, what's it called? The magic ring, the magic circle. I've only tried it once and I utterly failed. So we're gonna chain three instead of four because I'm making these very tiny. One, two, three. 
and then you connect them single crochet into the center is that what i'm doing or am i picking up a stitch wait are we supposed to pick up a stitch here i think we're supposed to pick up a stitch not go through the center one of the people i don't really remember who i learned from said to increase how do you do this <laughs> oh no i'm already failing dude okay so now we're on now we stitch up one right Where's my next stitch? This is bad news bears. Um, single crochet into the, what is this? Do you actually, do you not build? That what makes it like the shape of a straw. Oh, wait, wait, we have, we have something. We have like a little, we have a thingy. Okay, what do I do with this? <laughs> Why is it not coming out of the, it's like it's uneven. Oh no, no what? Kind of, oh wait. Oh, I've kind of made a cup. <laughs> there we go. I made a cup. <laughs> it's more like if I was making a blueberry, I think this wouldn't be a first, a bad first attempt. But it's definitely not like that V. So I'm gonna restart and I'll get back to you when I think I figured it out. I ended up having to make several attempts before I got this right. My first attempt, I basically made a big ball with the tiniest little nubbin at the bottom. He told me it was a nubbin. My second attempt was much better with a signature strawberry V, but it was way too big. So I had to start working on how to make it smaller. My third attempt was smaller, but also kind of lumpy. A strawberry only a mother could love. I'm mother. I love this wonky little strawberry set of mine. My last two attempts before going into the ones that would be the earrings were starting to get to the size and shape that I needed, mostly because I forced myself to actually learn the magic ring. And wouldn't you know it, it worked. <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm in love. I love them so much. <laughs> that was very difficult. <laughs> I had to do many, many, many attempts, but I love them. I love them. They're so unique and fun. And I don't know, they're kind of cozy in a way. I feel like Miss Frizzle. And if she is not the fashion icon, I don't know who is. You know, they're not perfect, but I don't mind that. I still love them. I'm not perfect either. They get the idea across of what they are. And I also made my original idea, which was just like one little strawberry on a hook. So when I get tired of wearing them as a matching set, I can break them up and wear one short, one long, which I really love to do. Finally, finally, it is one for three people, one project worked out. The other two are fine, but this one I'm actually proud of. I will definitely be doing an entire video on this in the future. Very excited. Actually, because these earrings, I used the same color in the hat, they probably match. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have a really hard time putting this on and not having it look weird, so don't judge me. I mean, it's a lot but it kind of works. I might have to try something with both of these in it. You know what, just for funsies, let's do my third thing. My little shawl. Okay. So I was told on Pinterest that you can kind of wear this more like a scarf if you want to. I think they're lying. <laughs> Couture. I'm kind of getting a vision like 50 years into the future and I think this is kind of how I'm gonna dress when I'm like 80. You know what? Kind of iconic. Not gonna lie. 
All right, <laughs> that is going to be it for me this week. I hope you had a good time watching. I had a lot of fun making these things, even though some of them, most of them weren't super successful. <laughs> That's okay. You have to experiment, you have to try. Well, thank you so much for sticking around. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Bye.